Now I make these too. This is what I'm sitting over there doing. I make these. I make these. I make knives. This, this, this is made out of bird feathers. Yes, turkey feathers. And then this is flint from South Georgia, which is very common around here. And this they would is have made from bamboo. To River cane. River cane, bamboo, it's the same species, but around here, it doesn't get really big like bamboo does. Wait, can you like no trees in the now remember, in this area we had passenger pigeons. They got extinct a uh, hundred years ago. The last ones died in a zoo. But before that, there were millions of them here in these forests. Passenger pigeons. And they would, they said they would block out the sun during the midday. There were so many of them that would fly overhead. And they would go amongst them at night with torches and take a long, a long pole and knock them off the, off the lower hanging limbs. The, uh, some of the early, early explorers in South Carolina that went in, among the Catawba tribe had talked about they had vats of butter. They called it butter. And it was really, the, you ever had it clean, clean a chicken that had a lot of that yellow fat on it? Yeah. Same sort of thing that they used for these pasture pigeons. They ate so many. There were so many, they used their, their uh, oil for their cooking of grease. And they ate those pasture pigeons. They were so plentiful. They, this was very much a, par a paradise when the first Europeans came to America. There were very few people, and the woods were full of game, and it was a, they never took no more than they needed. This was a virtual paradise for them. Now, we're fixing to leave, and I want to end you with a good message here. Now, if you're not on grade level with your reading, you need to practice, 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 so that you become a champion reader like me. Jojo, no. I know a lot of <laughs> Today's readers are tomorrow's leaders. Practice your reading. Mind, obey your teachers and listen to them. Your teachers are not going to steal you wrong. They're in this profession because it's a calling and they're here to help you be successful in life. And listen and obey to your parents. Your parents have been there before, they got a lot of wisdom, they want to give it to you, and they will not tell you wrong. So y'all have a great day, and I'll see y'all down the trail. I'll be a Everybody say thank you to Mr. Crawford. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys.